I can't help but notice YouTube does not trip on gangbanging shit because I watch a lot of, you know, California gangbanging niggas telling their story of how they got in the set, how many niggas was in the set, how many niggas got killed in the set, how many times they retaliated on a rival set, <laughs> you know, that type shit. So me being blood slash vice lord. I notice things when I watch gangbanging type movies. So the movie South Central, that's one of my favorite movies. I'm saying that because I just seen a content creator saying he don't like that movie. Like, OK, well, there's no reason to subscribe to you because I already know we would be disagreeing on everything because this is the second movie he said he didn't like that I like. So we just go uh, nip that in the bud before it even gets started. But South Central, I'm going to say this for you non-gangbanging motherfuckers. It's obvious to me that them niggas were yokes. GDs. You know? Oreos. Why do I say that? Because the deuce, the deuce colors was black and white. Those are Oreo colors. You know? Yokes. <laughs> Bricks. So, they don't have to explicitly say that. And they didn't in the movie. You know, they like deuce is deuce. Hoover deuce. But even if you say Hoover deuce, that's then that's some crab shit. Like either way it go, they the enemies of me. If deuce was a real set in the real life. And maybe it is. I don't know. It could. I bet it could be in California. That's where the uh, movie was based at. That in uh, colors. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a very few gang banging movies that i'll even mention because sometimes like boys in the hood made bloods look like bitches on purpose i didn't like that shit because bloods don't set trip and they made it look like that's what they do in boys in the hood so i'm like i don't know if the uh i think that's the hughes brothers that did that film if they got bullied by bloods in high school i bet they did somebody let me know <laughs> you know let me know if you know them niggas personally so You'd have to, to, to depict them that way in a movie. And it's like false narratives. People fall for it all the time, but it's like, okay, so y'all gonna make Crips look like heroes in this movie and make Bloods look like, oh, they, they, they just a menace on these streets when they are menaces on the street, but you still depicted them inaccurately. And I don't like that. I like when I'm watching a movie about Native Americans, I really don't like all that fake shit they be doing with the, uh, portrayals it'd be like mm -mm. i got native american blood creek and cherokee in me and i don't like that sh and that's just the name too because i got more tribes than that in me but it's just like none of that shit actually shows up on a dna test is what people don't get so they'll try to say you're not that even tina turner herself she looks like she has native american features and it didn't come up in her dna test at all they might not, I think they said some Chinese Asian shit was in her over some Native American shit, which is funny because it's really the same shit. Y'all really don't get why they all look alike Mexicans and Native Americans and shit. Like, it's, it'd be the Puerto Ricans, it'd be the same shit. Y'all all descendants of black people. And some Puerto Ricans know that shit. The ones who call themselves Afro Latinas, they know that shit. And then you got the other ones that, oh, no, no, black eye no 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 you're wrong like okay ain't nobody wrong man we know what it is